What's this place called again? Roaring Plains. This is Roaring, Roaring Plains. Trailhead. Okay. Hey guys, it's Ben, and today we're in the Roaring Plains in West Virginia, which is near like Dolly Sods. Got some friends with me. I have uh, Troy, who owns a barbecue uh, food truck. Preston, who is an IT guy, works in IT for local school. We got Father Mike, who is a priest. And I know what you're thinking. Why the heck would we invite an IT guy on a backpacking <laughs> trip? But we did. And we're going to make it work. So here we go. <laughs> Okay, so we are around 3,500 feet on our way up to the plateau in the Roaring Plains. And uh, it's climbed some serious elevation already. And I know I'm already whooped. We're gonna check in with everybody and see how they feel. Going good, feel good. Glad to be out here. We just, uh, like Ben said, 3,500 feet. We got a little ways to go, but uh, feel really good. Monitoring our heart rates as we go, so. This is like where I do my rant. <laughs> no, that's for tomorrow. How you feel I'm feeling fine. I'm just a lonely IT guy. I'm not allowed to really speak my mind. Ben doesn't want to get kicked off YouTube. So I'm just going to say things are working out well. Ben has somehow became the old person of the crew. We now have to stop for him. So I'm just going to keep on pushing on. We have a probably about uh, three more miles to go till we plateau or Ben's heart gives out. All right, this is uh, Father Mike checking in. They uh, trusted me to lead the pack. I might be second guessing that later on. Um, beautiful day. And uh, yeah, we got a little bit of a hike before us or ahead of us, I should say. And uh, it's a good time. So hopefully uh, we'll uh, see you guys on the top of the plateau. And all right, checking out. Working our way up this steep section here. Oh. We're still only halfway there. And uh, it's fun. Type 2 fun. Yeah. So, Woo. Hey, hey. so hey, hey. we are finally Hello. in the plateau area. Uh, we still have what a mile and a half left to go where we're going to set up camp uh, for the two night. Half. Two and a half miles. Two and a half. Is everybody in the shot? No. I don't know. Here we go. Oh, there. There's there everybody. we go. There's Mike. We didn't lose anybody. Oh, well, we can't lose Mike. He's no, the he's, yeah. <laughs> he's leading us. Pray he's leading us. Can <laughs> <laughs> right. I have Pray a storm for myself? Yeah. So we're still cruising along the uh, plateau area, and if you look way. Down there, I'll try to zoom on the video. Seneca Rocks. Shot right there looks freaking epic. Woo. It's like the sky looks ridiculous. Dang. You guys look like you're like adventurers. 
Let's see how tro Troy looks. Nope, still stupid. Oh, <laughs> sorry, sorry, oh, <laughs> sorry. <my gosh. laughs> yeah, look, look at that. Man. Did you pick up that hat? No, my hat. My hat. I have like the same three hash marks on the bill. Yeah, it's just what's smoking barbecue, buddy. That had Blue Ridge or something. Okay, so. Oh, man. Really on camp. Can you guys all. Yeah. So we found this, the overlook we're looking for. However, there is no campsite nearby, I don't think. We're going to go find one. Yes. And that was a tough seven miles. What do you guys think? Hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That was. That was, uh, that was tough. Very but tough. Mike's getting beat down. <laughs> Mike may, may not make it back home. <laughs> So we are officially night hiking. But look at the uh, sunset out there. Pretty cool though. Hey Mike, turn around right there with your headlamp. With it on? Just turn your yeah, turn right back at us with your headlamp. That's a cool shot right there. That looks crazy. Get a little just stay right there, keep looking back at us. Get a little silhouette shot of you. Oh man, that's gonna be the album cover right there. Man, I'm good. I should do photography. It looks promising. Somebody here. Let's look out for a little. There's something back here. Play a little fire pit somewhere. Come on, Mike. Your life depends on it. Oh, like, there's a fire pit. Yeah, you yeah. get to live another day. <laughs> All right, so everybody's packed away in their tents for the night. And I got to tell you, that was probably one of the toughest seven miles I've done in a long time. It wasn't just the elevation. It was the terrain. Um, and we have seven more miles tomorrow to finish out the loop. That was uh, pretty tough, and I am pretty tired. So probably going to watch a couple of movies on the phone and go to sleep, and we will see you again in the morning. So we survived the night. Um, we only only doing two days. We did set, was it seven miles? Seven miles. Seven miles yesterday and under six miles today. But that was probably some of the hardest hiking I've had to do in a while. And slept pretty good last night. Troy, how was uh, your evening, sir? Oh my, it was great. My night was good. A little bit slow start, but I did get some sleep, managed. Uh, I like your food bag. Usually, oh, I love it. Yeah. Troy runs a barbecue food truck. Top five in, in Waynesburg, <laughs> downtown Waynesburg, top five. Yeah, yeah that's right. <laughs> Preston, our IT guy. Were there any IT problems last night? Zero. Zero. How'd you sleep? I slept fantastic till four o'clock. Father Mike, I gotta zoom in on you. All right. How'd you, <laughs> how'd you sleep last night? Speak up. It was amazing. It was angelic, and uh, <laughs> we had the <laughs> we had the best view of the scar stars last night, which was epic. So. Yeah, we're gonna walk yeah, out there. Good. That was incredible. Very cool. Really good. So Troy's gonna attempt to take a photo of us out on this cliff with a 10 second timer without falling off. I cannot cliff. move back any further, or I'm gonna pull like an Uncle oh, Buck. You, you could. Don't you could. don't don't do it. You could. Oh. Shit. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't look oh, back. oh my goodness. I'm out of heart attack. Oh boy. Oh boy. Ben don't like heights. Okay. Now let me get my pack in place. Please nobody fall. Okay. That's... Where am I going to go? Golly, over, over there. there. Here, I'll okay. hold the pack. Oh, be careful. That's a quick pack. I, I, yeah, I'll, I'll hold the pack. I'm going to be. Just give me enough that room there to stain. Okay, right, here we go. Ten. <laughs> Nine. Eight. Get in place, Troy. Okay, so this is Father Mike. So, Mike, what was the moment you knew not like when you first started thinking about it but what was the turning point where you decided i'm definitely going to be a priest let's hear your little story yeah yeah um i was a freshman in college waynesburg u back in 2001 and uh yeah i just uh wanted to be a doctor actually so i was studying pre-med and uh i just uh had kind of epiphany i was uh taking lots of classes doing well uh but this old man asked me in one of my classes if I really wanted to give my life to being a doctor. And so I restarted rethinking it. And uh, just after a lot of prayer and a couple dreams and some uh, real soul searching, I felt like God was calling me to kind of save souls before I save bodies. So I was like, all right. So it's been eight years. It's uh, eight years of training to be a priest. And uh, so here I am. Good place to 15 finish. 15 years later. So how old would you have been back then? I was 18. And here you are. 
Dang. Good yeah. deal. Yeah. On out in the wilderness. It's a good story, buddy. Yeah, yeah. This is my buddy Troy. Troy, I met him. Um, he's also a business owner. He runs a food truck, a barbecue food truck, which we joke around. It's top five. It's actually the best barbecue you'll ever eat. So Troy, what was your what was your spark? What was your moment where you went all in, you quit your job, and you did the food truck idea? Give us a story where you're well because well, being self-employed is scary. Yeah, it is. I uh I was working retail. I had about 25, 30 years of retail. And then I was working in the coal mine. Um, I knew I was gonna operate my own business or a food truck eventually. And my wife got COVID and I was quarantined with her. And I just decided that it was the year that we started it. So started it in 2020. And uh, I, I feel like all the roads, my experience and everything led me right right to where I was supposed to be as a business owner. How, like, sc how scared were you when you quit your job? Oh, do it full -time? very scared. Um, but I, I knew I knew there wasn't a plan B. It was just, it was all in. I think that's the um, part that being an owner of business, the risk side of it is yeah. what's the thrilling. You know? my, wife, uh, my wife is not the risk taker, I am. But you and, need uh, that. But I needed it, somebody to ground me. This is my buddy Preston. Preston's been in a lot of my videos. We have hiked together for about eight years. Preston is, he works in IT. So Preston, what was the big moment when you decided you're gonna work in IT? I'm just kidding, nobody cares. So I'm, I was just kidding about that last thing. So Preston, I'm gonna give you the, the camera here. You can tell us about your first backpacking experience, which is my favorite story of all time. Here you go. Oh, you said it multiple times. All right, I'm gonna try to do this without getting blinded by a stick. This is not a tall, friendly course we were on. Anyway, Ben asked me, go hiking with him one day. I said, sure, why not? I've basically grew up in the woods, never backpacked, but not from unfamiliar with the woods. So anyway, we went, I uh, got all my gear. I set it up in my living room. I was good to go. Day of departure we went and well, let's just say after a long day, of hiking with Ben, I was done. They were still ready to go. When we found a campsite, I went to bed. I set up my stuff. It was almost dark. So I was not aware that I put my fly upside down and it was raining the entire day. So as soon as I got my tent put up, I jumped in, went to sleep. And instead of venting, the air out, I was venting the water in. The flies were basically filling my waterproof tent like a bathtub and I woke up floating practically with all my belongings and I ended up yelling for Ben, which a little, he was a little boozed up to help me. I think he giggled a little bit and we wiped my stuff out sorry bleep that and uh slept the rest of the night and went home tail between my legs to live another day but you kept coming back kept coming back check out that view there what was that on national lampoon's vacation he looked at the grand canyon with russ okay, okay let's go, <laughs> let's go. <laughs> see all three of you guys Stand on the big rock, Troy. There you go. Oh, there you go. There you go. Right there. So, Mike, you got to go closer to press a little bit. Okay. Okay, that's not your good side. Turn on and <laughs> look the other direction. I'm kidding. Look at that view. Yeah, baby. Yeah, the trees are nice, too. <laughs> that is crazy, guys. Dang. Nice. I'll have to Photoshop myself in there. So Troy has a bag hanging off the back of his pack and what he's doing, kind of like when you're chumming for sharks. And for, so he's actually, this is, he's trying to track bears. <laughs> I keep looking behind <laughs> And he's leaking a bunch of weird uh, juices from those mountain house meals, mountain house juice. Preston, you can stand anywhere, we'll see you. Wee! Look at that view yeah. back there. Yeah, you. Guys, don't ask me. Sure. Is it worth it? Oh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
Heck yeah. Dude. This is awesome. Dude, one and done. Press in your mouth water real quick. Can't even see you. Let's get out of the side. Is it on? Back, but yeah, you're recording. You sure? Yeah. yeah I can see it. You sure? <laughs> you yes, sure? I'm sure. <laughs> this is the worst interview ever. Ben. Yes. What made you invite me on your first time? Uh, I was desperate. I asked about 18 other friends. They all said no. And somebody suggested, hey, Preston's stupid. He'll go with you. And uh, first try. Yeah. I asked you and you're like, yeah, let's go. And the um, rest is history. I like it. Yeah, desperation. <laughs> Not easy. Everybody in there? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we got uh, it. How many miles? Father Mike, how many miles was that? Oh my gosh, it was 13 miles total. Does that include the half a mile we were off track? <laughs> I counted that too. So we were, uh, yep, 13. We survived. That was one of the harder uh, trails I've done in a while. So that was kind of tough to do in two days. But of course, I'm out of shape. How do you feel, Preston? Oh, I'll be hardest physical thing I ever did. Troy, how are you feeling? I'm a little tired pretty tired father mike didn't even break a sweat yet <laughs> <laughs> all right guys we're done thank you so much for watching we'll talk to you next time yeah yeah Bye, boys. <laughs>